Well, it starts with hearing the word, filling your mind with worthy things, and then acting on those things as you hear and read. And that practice should start with the very young. Easter is just a few weeks from now, and if you enjoy purchasing Easter gifts for your young children, here's an idea that helps youngsters be both hearers and doers of the word. Gina Young is co-author of The Princess Parables, a series of books focusing on biblical parables as well as the fruits of the Spirit. The newest book in the series is A Royal Easter Story. Recently, Jennifer spoke with Gina Young as well as two of the princesses from this royal collection. We love literature and we so believe in kids growing up reading good quality Christian literature. So I am super excited to introduce you to author Gina Young and two special princesses who Gina is co-author of The Princess Parables, which just recently released a new, new book in the series, A Royal Easter Story. Gina, thank you so much for joining us here on Faith and Friends. Thank you. Excited to be here. Well, let's go ahead and just talk about what The Princess Parables is. Before we get into this new book, tell me a little bit background behind this entire book series. Okay, well, The Princess Parables, all the stories are based on Jesus' parables. And we created books. We wanted to, as moms, uh, we wanted to put as much in one book as we could. Uh, as my, I'm reading to my own children, especially when they're very young, most of the books had, they were just really fluff. There wasn't a lot of substance to them. And we wanted something that had a lot of depth and character. So each one of the stories is based on Jesus' parables. Each one of the stories has character quality lessons. And now there's just all these books and a whole line and Zondervan's branded it. So it's definitely been a, a, a complete yeah, the books are available locally at Gifts of Joy Bookstore. You can also find them online, and you can find them at the princessparables.com website. They have a store there as well. Well, Gina, your books focus on five princess sisters, each of them with a special name that obviously could go into a biblical character quality. Tell me a little bit about these princesses. They all have very unique personalities. So we love that little girls can find themselves in one of the characters. And each story has, you know, a conflict and it has resolution and the girls will respond in the way that we want them to. So I love that they, you know, are having real life problems that they're, um, well, that they're just really resolving themselves and with the Lord's help and with their sister's help. Well, it looks like you have two of those princesses sitting right behind you. They are even holding some of the princess dolls. Can you introduce who you have with us today? Yes. So this is my daughter, Emmeline, and her friend, Emmeline. And um, my daughter is dressed up as uh, Princess Grace. And I'll tell her, I'll actually have her tell you who she is, and then we'll have right. the other Emmy tell us. And my parable is the little lost sheep, and she has a pet kitten named Poppy. My name is Princess Charity, and my story is the Good Samaritan, and I help a boy when he gets hurt. The most recent addition to the series is a Royal Easter story, and that was released just at the end of January, a perfect gift for Easter. Gina, talk a little bit about the Royal Easter story. We've been dreaming of this book since the very beginning, and the reason is, is we have all five sisters that Easter celebration, they're and they're really focusing on just the, you know, the whole celebration and their dad asks them to take, you know, some of the stuff in a wagon. And the great thing about it is we've got to introduce the boys. So we've been dreaming of introducing knights because I have two boys and we really wanted to have stories, parable stories for our boys, real wild at heart boys. All the boys are carrying weapons. Um, and the reason that's funny is my, my boys love that. I mean, my husband loves that. Um, and just we wanted to create um, some new characters. And so the boy and girls race and in the midst of this of the Easter story. They the, the girls find a lost a lost little girl in the forest and they decide to get, you know, to give away their not worry about the race and to rescue the little girl, find her mom. And the parable is seek and knock uh parable. And so um, that we would ask and that we would seek and that we would we would find. And it also is about the, the parable right underneath that, which is we wouldn't give a scorpion to our children or a rock to them as a present. And so that our father gives good gifts. And so that just ties really well into Easter. 
Um, and I've been blogging a lot about this story. This story has so many different, just like God's word has so many different avenues and different things you could learn. This story has so many different lessons within it. So it's a great, it's a great story and we're really excited about it. So the story is a Royal Easter story. It's co-written by Gina Young and Jacqueline Johnson. And Gina, you mentioned that blog. It can be found at the princessparables.com forward slash blog. And I really like this blog because while the books are excellent reading for families of all ages, your blog really focuses, it's, it's something for, for the parents, right? Yes. So I, I'm at heart a mommy blogger of, cause I'm a mom in the throes of having four kids. And so I, I mean, I'm really just speaking out to other moms and I am trying to, I mean, right now we're focusing a lot on the Royal Easter story, but the, you know, as the year goes by, I'm touching on everything having to do with parenting. And the fun thing is Jackie's a grandma. So she's sort of doing her mentoring moments and speaking to moms on you know, what it means to, to live out the legacy and what, you know, what does that look? She usually blogs on Mondays. I blog on Thursdays and we sort of touch on all of that. And Jackie's been doing her series recently on how to raise up, you know, godly knights. So she's been focusing on each, focusing on each one of the knights and what, you know, all their, their, each of them have a different character quality as well. So the girls have their character qualities. The boys have their character qualities for each of them. How excellent. As we know, that's definitely, definitely needed for parents as they are bringing up children in today's day and age. Again, that is theprincessparables.com forward slash blog. The book again is called The Royal Easter Story. It's the latest in The Princess Parables, and you can learn more by going to their website, theprincessparables.com.